Hi and welcome to vanderbilly.com So here I'm going to do the uh, uh, Cygnus X1 Book 2 which is the whole uh, of the first side of the Hemispheres album by Rush uh, Fantastic piece of work this is and um, it's split into five parts So you've got the Prelude uh, which is effectively an overture uh, for it uh, and you've got uh, Dionysus uh, Apollo and Dionysus, then uh, Armageddon, the uh, Cygnus, and then the Sphere. Uh, I've got a playthrough, uh, and it shows you in there which which uh, which section is which. And what I'll do is to probably spend a couple of videos doing going through what uh, is in the Prelude because that contains virtually all of the. Um, uh, rhythm guitar that you're going to need uh, to play the rest of it. So it starts off with um, a kind of Alex Lifeson's favourite favorite kind of chord, which is where you play the bottom half of the chord, uh, but the top half of the, of the two top two strings are left uh, open. So it starts on F sharp, so play normal F sharp chord. <coughs> the top two strings open and the top two strings will stay open for the whole of the opening section so you're going to go from F sharp and then slide up to an A and get those top two strings ringing and then to C major 7th Now C major 7th is basically, if you think of a C 7th, uh, where you would play uh, the C, E, B flat, and an E, so that would be um, C 7th. C major 7th, take this B flat, move up. So you can think of all the major 7ths, and there are quite a lot of major 7ths uh, in, uh, in hemispheres. So take all of them thinking the C octave from the root that you would normally have. Take it down one fret. It gives you the major seventh. So I play this in two different ways. So in this part we'll play this in the way I've just shown you, but leave these top two strings open. So you've got the B and you've also got the B on the open string. So you've got the B on the fourth fret on the third string and you've got the B with the open string and the E. So that's going from this, so it's going from the A. And this thing. So this is uh, it's an F major 7th. It's going to start off as. Um, so you've got F uh, and E. Uh, rather than if it's an E seventh, you'd have an E flat in there, but you don't. You have an E and the A. You can either keep this A in here on the fifth string, uh, keep that open, or I tend to mute it out with this first finger. And again, top two strings left open. So while I'm playing that, leave these two fingers here on the E and the A and then play in the bass. And that will give you the opening. Um, we then go into uh, a section which is referencing Armageddon. So you get this thing going. Oh, that was awful. I'll do that again. Here, starting off with the going from B to F sharp 
G, D, slide down back to the B. Then going from the D, A, B flat, slide down to the F. And you'll notice you also miss out a note in the middle of that, so you count them as a 7, not an 8. Uh, and this thing is taking this F sharp with the open strings again, uh, and then you're going to pick, and I'll show you what the pick is. In here. So you're going to go pick, you're going to. Oh, if I can get that, just right, get both in. Um, pick in the bass, then pick from first, third, and second strings. Uh, now I always used to play this. Let me set the third one. Um, until I finally looked in this which uh, actually has all the music for hemispheres uh, and what this shows you is that actually there's three notes and actually when you hear it when you listen to it properly you can hear it then so then from there up to B Next bit is going to the A. Same pick. Uh, next one goes to D. So that's all the same pick, and that's all the, uh, what you get in Armageddon, uh, which you see later on. Um, then we get. Uh, this is just running down the scale from the A. Finishing on the C sharp. Go from the B, finishing on the D. Uh, and then you come into the next bit which is referencing switch this back up to there. Which is referencing um, uh, Apollo and Dionysus. So you get uh, This is is a G major seventh. Remember, had the F major seventh down here. If you take that, have the C. Move that whole thing over to the G. G major seventh. Leave the top two strings open. Because you've got the B here, which you would have normally in the G chord. Uh, and instead of having for the seventh, you would have an F. You have an F sharp one fret down from the octave G. That's the major seventh. So it's G major seventh. And uh, to this thing. Um, I think this is an F sharp. It's probably an F sharp minor seventh with a sus four. So that's what it would be going to, which is an F sharp minor seventh, which is bar across here, and then add the C sharp. Uh, if we then add the B, you get this thing here, and the fingering I use is to take these two fingers onto third and fourth strings, little finger onto C, index finger to G for the G major seventh. Leave this finger in place, move this one up, move that one down. Just down the scale. Finishing on the D. Um, I've got this little clean bit. And that's going to again G major seventh. But here we're going to leave this G 
open. And to an F uh, sharp minor seventh. And now we'll just play in the bottom four strings. And then play that and play the bring in the fifth the second string. Uh, and then back again. Back to clean. Uh, we'll, so we're back to again the. So this is the F major seventh again, uh, but again leaving top three strings open. And that gets you about halfway through uh, the prelude, four hemispheres. Um, and then we continue on to the harmonics. I'll do that next. <laughs>